Hey YouTube friends and family. I wanted to do a little cooking video to show you a fast and easy way, an economical way to cook an excellent batch of rice for your family. I hope you enjoy this. I've never done it before so it's certainly a test and trying to set it up here in our itty bitty little kitchen was a task in itself. I'm going to start my rice with a quarter cup of, or not quite a quarter cup, of vegetable oil. Now that may seem like a lot, but you'll see why we do this. At this point, I'm going to start adding my rice. And on rice, I kind of guess I don't really measure as a rule, but I'll, I'll try to measure here for you guys. I can tell by looking. This is two cups. And I know I'm going to need at least two cups more. And you can make this in any amount. Always remember that rice, like your beans, is going to triple in size once it is cooked. So what you start out with, you can bet you're going to have a lot more. I have my heat right now on number six on my stove. And my stove is an Adora by GE. Every stove is different. Now I'm making a point here of getting my rice coated each and every kernel with this oil that we put in. Now rice you see has a transparency. As this starts to cook you'll note that the rice starts turning white. White as snow. After the white stage you may note a little bit of browning. And that's a good thing my friends. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off while I continue turning my rice. You don't want to leave the rice alone at this point. You want to keep it moving in your pan. And as you can see, I hope you can see, we're starting to get white kernels against the transparent kernels. So I'll be back in just a moment. Hey friends and family, I'm back just to show you. As you can see, not only do I have white kernels, but I'm starting to get a little bit of a golden color on some of these kernels. Ooh, hot. I hope you can see that. And that's okay, that's what you want. If you look through this, you'll see. Now this rice can be made with any ingredients that you happen to like in rice. It certainly can. And the ingredients in our home changes according to what the garden's producing or what's on sale in the produce. I use a lot of produce and take note, we're not putting meat in this, although you can. I've used uh, barbecued pork, I've used beef, I've used chicken, and several other meats. If that's what your preference is, you can always add your meat and you would add it at the end of adding the rest of your ingredients. Always add your meat that is pre-cooked. Do not add raw meat to this. Mm -hmm. Okay friends, I have David doing our uh, camera work here. So, because I've never done this before, I hope it comes out okay. He's real good with a camera. Okay, we've, we've browned this and turned our rice white as much as I need for this recipe. Now what I've done is I've turned the heat off because this part goes a little bit fast. In this bowl you'll see that I have my dehydrated broccoli that we have dehydrated here at home. 
I also have some dehydrated tomato and I'm going to put that in. That'll give it a nice red coating. We have dehydrated garlic and we have our coarse pepper and some parsley. I'm going to throw those in. I had a little tiny crooked neck that wasn't being used and I thought that would go good in our rice. Again we've got our carrot and the carrot's not a big one guys. I used a coarse grater. I use hand graters and the carrot was this size that you see here. We also have a little bit of cabbage that I chopped up and I'm going to throw a couple little handfuls of that in. Not a lot, just enough to give us some nutrients and besides it tastes good. Now I need to stir this because our rice is still getting some heat. Isn't that beautiful colors guys? Look at that. It is gorgeous and I wish you had smell-o-vision. It's already smelling really good. Now I've got a few green onions. I think there was probably five green onions here that I chopped up. I'm going to throw that in. Now at this point uh, you can make this any flavor you want guys. At this point you could change the flavor. You can make it beef, you can make it vegetable, you can make it chicken, anything you want. If I wanted to I could add dehydrated peas that I have. I could add tomato bouillon. I could add beef broth. I could add chicken. This is my favorite. Oh, I love this. And note that this is reduced sodium. The reason for that is we don't need a lot of salt. We don't eat a lot of salt in my family. Now, even though I added the dehydrated tomatoes, I'm going to go ahead and add some fire roasted diced with garlic. My family loves garlic. I'm a waste not want not person. I can't stand cooks that don't get the last out of the can or they don't use a spatula. So I do that. And then we just pour water to where it coats and covers your rice. As you can see, I brought it up to the top of the pan. Guys, are you seeing these colors? Does that say healthy or what? It certainly does. Now at this point, what I would highly recommend, is you, as you noticed, I didn't put any salt in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, table, or a taster spoon here and I'm going to get just a little of the liquid and test it for salt content. It needs salt. So here I've got my Himalayan pink. I love this salt. And I have it on a coarser set than most people use. And the main reason for that is with my old hands, turning that crank really gets rough. Besides, it all dissolves. And there we have absolutely beautiful mixture. I'm going to turn the camera off. What we are going to do is we're going to turn our heat back on again to six. I like the number six on this. When I cook, I never cook on high. I'm a very patient cook. So we'll turn this to six and we wait until it starts to come to a boil. When it starts to boil, we will reduce our heat to the lowest setting, which on my stove is low. And then I will add my lid and we'll be back. Catch you. Okay, I told you this is my first. Guys, I use this tomato paste 
And the reason is I don't need a can. I do not need a big can. All I need is just a little squirt. So when I use this, because tomato paste is very pungent, you can actually get too much in your dishes. And then I just stir that up and get it around in there. And the other thing that I always add when I'm doing this vegetable rice, look at the colors, guys. Is it beautiful? The other thing that I always add is I add just a little bit of the tomato. I buy the Nor Tomato Bouillon. Now this does come, it says, with chicken flavor. I don't taste the chicken. Neither does my family. And what I do is I just put probably eighth of a cup and I just spread it around on top and that's more than ample for what we're doing. I'll stir this up, bring it to a boil and I'll be back guys. Okay guys, as you see it's coming to a boil. This is one of the dehydrated tomatoes and I want you to take note of how quickly it's rehydrating as is the broccoli guys. You can throw your dehydrated foods in and they hydrate right here in this hot water. You don't have to rehydrate prior to putting them in. Now we're starting to get some boil action it doesn't have to be a full rolling boil. We know that this water, this sauce, this broth is boiling hot. So what we're going to do, did you have something to say, Sissy? Yeah, I was going to say that smells good. It does, doesn't it? You guys, you need smell-o-vision here. What we're going to do, you see the boiling? We're going to turn our stove down to low and we're going to put our lid on and we'll be back guys after this has cooked. Catch you in a few. Action. Hey friends, as you can see the condensation from the steam is coming up around the lid. Now that's regenerating, it's dripping back down into your rice and that's helping the rice to absorb the liquids. You can still see all the beautiful colors. Now what I have done, because as I said, you know, I don't measure my rice per se. However, this time we used four cups of rice. I always keep a little bit of water here on the side so that when I start seeing that I don't have any condensation or the steam rising inside my lid, I can then test my rice. And if the rice is not quite there, I can add just a little more water, put the lid back on, and give it time to absorb yet again a little more moisture. Now we used in this the dehydrated broccoli and Safely, I can say we used a quarter of a cup. We also used a uh, quarter of a cup of our dehydrated tomatoes, and that was here at home. The dehydrated adds more to your uh, broth than the canned tomatoes or the fresh tomatoes. And if you're going to use fresh tomatoes, friends, please dip them in boiling water for about a minute or two, lift them out of the water with a strainer, dip them into ice water, and the peels will just open up. You can grab hold and just peel them off. Peels will separate in your dish if you don't rem remove them first. As far as our seasonings, we used a half a teaspoon, I would say approximately, of salt half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, that's going to be depending on you and your family. You saw what I used with the tomato paste was just a, squ a squish of it. 
We used the pink Himalayan salt. We used black coarse pepper. I like the coarse pepper because in cooking, uh, it just turns out better on these rice dishes. I did not use any garlic salt, although I did use our dehydrated garlic. And we used five of our green onions chopped, and we used one carrot. Now friends, oh, and the little tiny crooked neck. And in the crooked neck, friends, can I see that little bowl, Dave? We used not even this bowl full, and this is a very small bowl. I would safely venture that this holds a half a cup, so we probably used between a quarter and a half. And that's what we have in here. It has been right now 21 minutes since we started this. And I'll be back. Okay, friends and family, as you can see, we're not getting a lot of movement here. We still have a little bit of steam, but not a lot. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to hand spoons out and let these kids tell me if the rice is done. J.D.? Thank you. David. Thank you. Now the rice is very hot, guys, so let's be very careful. Blow on your tester. Guys, are you looking at these colors? That's good, sister. You're just doing a, no, you're just doing a little I'm tester trying, of the rice. I'm trying to get a little. A little tester of the rice. tester of the rice, Dave? That's done. Yes, please. Wow. This is good. Is it good? I think maybe they need Is a the sample. rice done? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. we're going to turn this off, guys. I think maybe they need And we're going to move our them. lid. Yummy. Now, to serve this, Oh, this smells so good, guys. I wish you had smell-o-vision. Smell to serve this, what I do... Can you hold this, please? Yes, ma'am. What I do, and I like to do it... J.D., would you like to take this for me? So much. We're finished here with these things. Okay. Guys, you'd have to see how tiny my kitchen is. I've always wanted a big kitchen because I love to cook. Here's a little thing that I like to do when serving this kind of rice. We go down inside and we pick up and we bring it over and we bring it out onto the plate. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, look at that cube. It's cubical. <laughs> the end of the this cup is it certainly is cubicle cylindrical and here we have oh wow. this looks so good wow we'll set our cup in there to reuse ways not what not and then perhaps we get that out of our way so you can see. We just throw some celery and some carrot sticks. And there you have very easy, economical, simple, delicious rice for your family. And you can make this any time that you that that when you can't afford anything, you can make it any time at home with any ingredients that you want. Isn't that true? And, you know, guys, we've made this Mexican style. We make this uh, Oriental. And you can add, like I say, any kind of meat that you want to it. Normally, you wouldn't have to use canned tomatoes, but a quart of tomatoes, home canned tomatoes, is way too much for this dish, for the size pan that I use. And so 
using a, a smaller can works great. I hope you try this at home and I hope that you enjoy it because friends I'll tell you what you can't beat it and you get vegetables in every bite. I gotta have carrot. <laughs> I have to have carrot. You love your carrots. Now being a good cook I'm gonna test it here. <laughs> It's hot, so I'm blowing on it. Mm -mm -mm. Bon appetit. That is so good. It's absolutely excellent. It has a wonderful, wonderful flavor. And uh, dehydrate your vegetables, guys. These things are perfect. They came out just right. I love you all. Great big hugs and enjoy. This is Cooking on a Budget. Goodbye.